everybody, my name is Perez Hilton, joined by Jeffrey Self. Hi, Perez Hilton. There's so much I want to get to, but I just want to start off by saying you're very gay. I'm very, very gay. And I say that as the utmost compliment. Thank you, please, yes. You're gay in an almost like political way, in a necessary way, in an That's important nice. way. I appreciate that. In a I way that- You're very gay in a very I, political, necessary way. I am unapologetically gay. And have been for a while in a very uh, public way. Well, and a lot of people <laughs> use that as as a, a way to insult others. Like, oh, sure. I'm so, he's so gay or whatever. Um, yeah, that whole Who thing. cares? So over. And then uh, I'm sure you get like crazy people online, like using that as a insult. It, it doesn't Attempt bother me. It to. could bother other people. Right. And actually just last week, I, I, I dealt with that. Oh, really? What yes. Happened? Do you want to say what happened? Oh, I already talked about it, but I'll recap it really okay. quickly. The tour manager for Fifth Harmony. Okay, already ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, yes. Already your life is absurd. The tour manager for Fifth Harmony <laughs> tweeted about me saying that men who hide under the guise of being effeminate are the true enemies of women or something like that. Oh. There was something ridiculous about that. Anyways, oh. it doesn't even matter. The reason I brought it up is because, you know, some artists, yep. actors, yep. writers, directors, people in showbiz, sure. either will remain closeted. Yes, quite a few of those people. Or, or live in a glass closet. Yeah, we know, or, we, I think you and I both personally probably know those people. Yeah, or well. or they'll they'll be gay enough. Like they'll be openly gay, but they won't even talk about it. Sure, 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 uh, sure. But I, I still believe that it's important yeah. to be authentic. 100%. And you've been doing that as well for a decade. For a decade. I know, if you don't follow Jeffrey Self, you should. He, I've been following you you've for been, a decade. You've been a, very, you've been a very early supporter of, of everything I've done, which is let's, very nice. Let's get closer. Very nice. <laughs> also, is, are those your kids in the? In they the are. Background? They're watching they us. Are my kids. So cute. How old are your kids? I have three now. Oh my god. I have an almost five-year-old. I have a two and a half-year-old, and I have a seven-week-old. Jesus Christ! And do you do that all by yourself? Yes. I mean, I have help. My mom but and you I have, have. You don't have a partner or anything? No. That's intense. I know. Do you like it? I love it. You're you're never like, this was the worst decision. No, it was the best decision. <laughs> hey now, shh. Were you always somebody who wanted kids? Always. Oh really? Yeah. I never had that. No. No. It wasn't, a, it wasn't a question of if for me, it was more of a question of when. Okay. No. Well, that's great. I mean, this is such a lovely house and like such, a, I'm sure, a great place to raise a family. I love it, I love it. And I, I first became aware of Jeffrey's self back when you were living in New York. Yes. And you were uh, collaborating frequently with this other very talented yes, yes, yes. youngster. Cole Scola. Who's now an old lady like us. Sure. Uh, not that old. Mostly plays old women, actually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cole Scola, who's a yeah. wonderful, uh, very, very talented uh, actor as well. And what's interesting too, like following both of you over the years is, He's kind of gotten a little weirder. Sure. As the years, in the best way. Absolutely. In the best way. He's yeah. kind of gotten very bizarre. Yeah. Not, not bizarre. Bizarre, no, but um, weird. Absurdist. Abs yes. Yes. Ab yes. In, in, in a wonderful way. So you should check out Cole as well. Very much. If you don't know him. And then over the years, you've been doing a lot of different things. Sure. You've been doing your acting. And now you've got a book. Yes. Is the book out? Yes, the book is out. Oh, I brought you a copy. I'll give it to you. Oh, let's, I'll hold let's, it up. Let's do so it. Let's visual, hold it up. Visual, yes. Visual. Um, nope, that's not it. That's my iPad. A very, very bad thing, which is I thought was why you were saying I was very gay, because I thought it was like, oh, what a nice segue into very, yeah. very gay, very, very bad thing. Well, I did not plan it because <laughs> you didn't. I um, the first question about the book I have is: Is there an audio version? There is, and I read it. And <gasps> oh no, my god, amazing! Yeah, and I, everybody keeps asking if this is someone getting peed on, and it's not. Let People keep saying that. Do oh, you see that? That, I don't. I didn't think. I think it just looks like somebody getting a glass of water thrown in their face. Did you come up with the concept for the no, cover? No, I had no idea what they were doing. I'm not fan. I don't think I'm important enough that I get to choose my own cover. But uh, they uh, did that, and I loved it. You loved it. Yeah. Uh, I don't quite. Can like... I be honest? I don't know what it means. Yeah. I don't. But it's catchy. It's a good image. Yeah. You definitely look at it, but I don't really. It has nothing to do with what's in the book. I am not a bad person. I'm not a great person either, but not bad. No matter how it might seem, no matter what I did. 
Is, so it's about a, a kid who does something that is deemed by society a very, very bad thing. Oh, but is it a, considered a young adult yes, novel? Yes, it's a teen novel. Oh, is this um, your first book? I wrote no? another young adult novel a, two years ago called uh, Drag Teen, which is about a teenage drag queen, which is also the same publisher, also available as an audio book. I, I also love read. it. Who's the publisher? Push? Uh, Push, which is a Scholastic. It's a label with Scholastic. Do they do predominantly LGBTQ They do. Works? Push is like Scholastic's, I think, edgier, uh, ah. uh, Angle, uh, I think, um, but they're uh, they're great. My editor David Levithan um, does a lot of books with Scholastic, and uh, and I only see your name on here. You wrote it 100 percent by yourself. All by myself. Amazing. All by myself. I only wrote one of my three books by myself. Really? And that was Which the one? children's book. Oh, really? The others, <laughs> the others had a little. Help. Well, no, I had help, and I sure. didn't even li I didn't lie about it. Sure, sure, sure. They got credit. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's fine. Yeah, totally got credit. Well, the first book they didn't give them credit. My first book. I was gonna but... say I've, I've helped help, I've helped people write books and got credit. for my second. Second book, I was like, I want to make sure he gets he gets built sure. on the title, and um, so yeah. So uh, there's an audio book. There's an audio book, um, it's, and it's it's a great. I think it's a really good, like, empowering story about um, doing things that are sometimes not um, the most acceptable things for the sake of the greater good in a time where we're all feeling so uh, you know encouraged and emboldened to fight for what we believe in right now. And so it, it kind of looks at that as a sort of a cautionary tale to, uh, you know, be aware that sometimes when we fight, basically fighting is only right if you're fighting um, fairly. So would you, like if you had to classify a genre for yeah. the book, sure. not teen, would it be like drama? Yeah, I mean, it's like, there's a, there's a thriller element to it because uh, it's told in two different time zones where you don't know uh, necessarily what you you know something bad has happened and that in the present this kid is trying to deal with it and then we're jumping back and forth to the past but you know jumping ahead before the bad thing happened and it's a also a very very sweet love story between two very uh, lovely boys oh. yeah. maybe we'll see a, a, a TV movie or a movie of I, either I of keep the two saying books. Greg Berlanti should make it um, hey I Greg Berlanti I, I don't I haven't spoken to Greg Berlanti about this but I just am sort of putting that out in the universe and hoping that he will eventually tweet me and say he's bought it. Well, you're keeping yourself very busy because in addition to writing this new book, you're on a TV show as yes, well. Yes, I'm on a new show, or it's the second season of the show, uh, Search Party, which is Search really great. Party. I don't know if you've seen it. It's what really, network really is good. it on? It's TBS. I don't watch any television. Do you really not? No, I don't. Is that, is Except that for like, award shows. Oh, you, you, but you kind of have to, right? I watch all award shows, Love. unfortunately. <laughs> I'm over award shows, but I'll, I'll watch clips of things. Yeah, do you watch most, do you see movies? Yeah, I go see movies, okay. just because it's less of a time commitment. Do you not do reality shows at all? No, I, I literally watch nothing except That's for award shows. And, but don't you like, did you, you used to watch everything. Yeah, though, I just don't have time. Yeah, well, you have three kids. And I'm honestly working all the time. Yeah. Like I have so much, like as the years have gone on, it's not that I'm working any less, I'm actually doing more than I used to. Right, right, right. It's just a bigger, it's a bigger thing. Well, it just takes more work to keep going. Yeah, to well, totally, yeah. So I'm, you know, I make videos, I got my podcast, yeah. I'm auditioning and act and trying to do the acting How's thing. How's it going? You know, I'll, you audition, but I don't, you don't book anything. Well, I'm working with an acting together. coach. I'm, I'm putting the effort, the, the effort in. Right. You know, you're doing the but work. But it, it really makes me happy though. Like um, one of the roles that I auditioned for, a mutual acquaintance or friend of yours or ours got it. Drew Druggy. What was the role for Heather's? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Audition yeah, yeah, for that. Yeah, I didn't yeah. get it, but it made me happy that he yes, got Drew it. Drew Druggy, the, one of the hardest working people yes, in show business. So it's yes. very nice to see uh, so much happening. He's actually doing a solo show off Broadway right now called Bright Colors and Bold Patterns. That if you haven't seen, oh, it, you if see you're it. in New York, go yeah. see him. He's so talented. So talented. Um, when did the second season start? Or has okay, it started so already? Party, yeah. So I'm on that show. I'm not like one of the leads. Out there. Basically, it's a, a story about uh, four friends. I'm not one of the. Oh, friends. was it the Nicole? Girl from MTV? Uh, no. No. Who's the lead? Who, is there a lead? Alia Shawkat from oh. uh, Arrested Development Ooh. and so many brilliant indie movies. Uh, so you're in some of the episodes, but not yeah, all? Yeah, so I played John Early, who's one of the four leads, uh, his boyfriend. Oh, I know. He's yeah, blonde. He's real, he's yes, so I'm brilliant. aware of this yeah, show. Yeah, 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 okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm aware so of it. So we have a very, very sort of uh, abusive, uh, one-sided uh, relationship on the show that's... Uh, I actually get to play someone who's super nice, which I don't always get to play, and uh, he gets to play a horrible person, uh, and so... Uh, I was on it a little bit the first season, and now the second season I'm back with, a, with I think an even darker relationship with 
with my boyfriend on the show. And has the second season started? Yeah, it just premiered it Sunday. It just premiered. They do every Sunday. They're doing two episodes until oh, the end of the year. It's really uh, good. Until the end of the year? Well, I, ten, it's ten episodes. Ten so episodes. So I guess however many weeks that it, five weeks. Uh, and it's really good. I watched all ten on Sunday, and there it's it's like a it's a mystery, and there's a it's also a sort of a thriller, uh, and this season even more so. And uh, you auditioned? Actually, or did you know? Did this is a friend you of mine. Straight up got cast. Well, a friend of mine created. Fancy. A friend of mine created the show, Charles Rogers and Sarah Violet Bliss, and they uh, were. I was sort of involved from the get go. They were developing it, you know, before they sold it and everything. So I think they kind of uh, developed it with each of the cast members uh, in mind. So it has a very uh, authentic vibe to everybody's persona. I love that. Well, amongst the other things you've been doing for a while there, you were doing these really fancy Facebook lives. Very fancy. Well, fancy when the internet would work. Um, Why? Would they not always well, work? Well, sometimes we were doing it live on Facebook, so like sometimes that would work, and then some days it would just be like, oh, the internet's not turning on, so oh, I guess no. we were screwed, or it would start, turn off in the middle. But it was very fun. And it was so well done. Yeah, well, that's all Jake Wilson. Who oh, was I that Jake? Yeah, he I totally know Jake. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's I've great. known him for a decade, too. Same thing. Yeah, same. The battery's down. Yeah. I was in one of those you videos. You were I yeah, was. Yeah. It was. That was so ambitious, too. That was ahead of its time. Uh, yes. Before the, YouTube was Before you YouTube. could make any money on YouTube. Yeah. And before uh, anyone, like, really was paying attention to YouTube. But now is it's there, so Are there great. any plans to bring that back? We've been talking about it, but it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Because you um, can tell that a lot of work went into it. A lot of work it. went into it. And it was... Maybe you don't, don't even do it live. That's what we're thinking. We're talking about doing it with not live. And Although, I'm yeah. live all the time on Facebook and it wor works. Well, here's, what, here's what's weird. I live in a super old neighborhood. I know this sounds crazy. And the, we have the best internet you can get in the neighborhood, but it still sucks. Mm. And we have a big, it's like our house is like, uh, it's kind of like this and it's like really thick walls. You maybe know do it made? somewhere else or maybe so do maybe it at a studio. Yeah, I know, but I liked the in the house thing. I, yeah, but I know. And we'll you see. had some big guests we on there really too. really good people. Yes, yes, yes. I, yes. I randomly came across an old one recently okay. and Selma Blair was Selma on. Selma Blair. Yes. I randomly one day, we were trying to book guests, which was also the biggest part you know, so it's such a hard thing to do and uh, to just like wrangle people to be there, especially when we were doing it live because it's like, are you available at this specific time? Um, but uh, I randomly saw that Selma Blair was following me on Twitter, so I just harassed her until she said she'd come over. I love house. that. Did yeah. you have Busy Phillips on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yes, we love. I like, you see. Are you following Busy Phillips on uh, Instagram? Duh, of yeah, course. Yeah, yeah. Isn't everybody? Good content. Isn't everybody? Yeah, good content. You see, I don't watch TV, but I watch a lot of things online. I totally get it. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. I, I would watch your show. I, I, I watch everything on the internet. So I get I'm, it. I'm aware of everything. <laughs> uh, you mentioned your house. Maybe I'm not 100% aware. Are you still with your boyfriend? I'm getting married. Right, okay. Yeah. Now, your boyfriend is an a he's British? Yes, he's a British guy. And he's, act he's an actor. actor. His and name is Augustus Prue. Right, and he's on a TV show as he well. Was on, he had a show last year on CBS called Pure Genius. That, okay, uh, it's not on anymore. Been, so it's been canceled. Wow. Uh, it was very, it was very fun, a uh, very fun time to have him on a uh, network television show and see like how fancy entertainment can actually be. When you started <laughs> dating him, he wasn't like officially out of the closet though. yeah which we didn't really realize but he he'd been you know living his life you know gay as a gay person for like five years and had had been in relationships but had never really uh it wasn't that he had not come out but it was just he was never famous enough for it to matter uh and then he was the lead of a show and then it was like people for about six months were paying attention <laughs> and uh, then it was like oh it actually matters could you have been in a relationship with somebody that wasn't out Oh. Officially or publicly? I don't know. I don't know if I could handle that. I, I, I think on like morally, I would maybe have a problem with that. Um, mom, I'm filming is something. Is your mom here? Wait, your mom's here. Oh, yes. cameo. Hi. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I like that. Yeah. Um, is, does your mom live with you? Yes, she That's does. So sweet. I love mom. Where does your mom live? Georgia. Georgia, yes. Yeah. I knew you were from the South somewhere. Yeah. But anyways, um, uh, I don't think I could be, really date somebody who was closeted because I think- Because you're so not that. Yeah, A, I just, I can't, I live my life very openly, but also I don't, I don't know, I would, I just feel like, especially someone who's working in entertainment, I feel like there's a responsibility there um, because visibility is I so do important too. that you need to be out. Like, I'm sure, yeah, I mean, you, you write about people all the time that I'm sure like, you know, you're like, well, I know this person as a gay person, but they're not. And the ones that like, the it. weirdest ones are the ones where everybody knows that person is gay, yeah. but they won't 
like, like even the public knows yeah. that person is gay or lesbian or whatever, and they still won't uh, in any sort of media outlet acknowledge talk about it. it. Yeah, it's it's odd. Um, but yeah, I don't think that would be right. Be right for me. I'm sure it's right for some people to do that. But could you ever do that? Yes. Closeted person, you could. Well, because he's right here. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I could only because. I mean, I haven't been dating, or I haven't dated anyone in a long time, but if and when I do date somebody seriously, like, I don't think I would ever even tell anybody I was dating. Right, 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 right. It's not like, you're not someone who wants to, like, have an Instagram I, yeah, relationship. Yeah, we won't be on Instagram, we won't yeah. be doing any red carpets. Sure. Like, I don't even think I would post about it on my private Facebook page. Right. Well, I mean, I definitely... Not that I judge those who do. No, some I just don't do think that. it yeah. works for me. I don't it think... It wouldn't work for me. I've tried to make that work for me before in a previous relationship, and it was not It was not good, and then it, the relationship becomes about that, I think, at some point, where you're like, well, but it's getting likes, so we must be happy, you know? <laughs> well, since you mentioned that... Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> well, one of the many things you've done in the past is, like, you were also, like, a YouTuber before being YouTubers or being yes. cool. Before you could make money being Exactly, YouTuber. back yes. in the day. And back in the day, you were in a in, in a YouTube relationship. Yeah, I've never heard that term, a YouTube relationship, but that's very... Yeah. Very Wait, you were You were in one with this guy. Yes. His name is Patrick McDonald. That's correct. Who now is... Who was a a gay porn star. Yeah, he has. He's he went it. from reality TV to gay yeah. porn star. When you were dating, could you have ever imagined that he'd end up a gay porn star? I mean, he's very, uh, very a good looking person. So, uh, you know, I, 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 I guess I can see that <laughs> where people would want to see that. Um, you know, I, I have not watched. He just he made one. He made a movie very recently. Yeah. Um. Uh, and he had been on a reality show about uh, Fire, Fire Island. Island the previous summer on Logan, which, which I actually really enjoyed. I that show. I I know. I you see, I didn't watch the show, but I watched a ton of clips. Yeah, from yeah, yeah. It. Sure, sure, sure. It was very. It, the, you know, the show. It's like all reality shows where it's like half of the show was coming up next and half of the show. But it was still better than that Finding Prince Charming show. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I that agree. was awful. Yeah, I didn't enjoy that one as much as I enjoyed Fire Island. Uh, but Because there like, was a lot of people you knew on it a, as well. It was just drama. Yes. And that place is so fascinating. And I, I've never been. It's it's a lot. I went this summer for the first time in a long time and was like, I think I'm good for another 10 years. <laughs> but uh, I think it was the first time I'd been in 10 years. But uh, it uh, it's a lot. So, But that was interesting because you don't really see that place on TV very often or in movies. So no. I really enjoyed seeing like a reality version of that. Um, and so he did that and it, um, that I think has gone away and he has done a porn set on Fire Island. Uh, and you know, more power to him. I think, you know, I, 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 I imagine you can make money doing that. I, I would hope. And no, okay, they yeah. all make money escorting. Okay, or doing like <laughs> maybe like some of those, I follow a couple of like people from Cocky Boys on my on Oh, I Twitter. follow one. What's and they have name? like, they do a lot of events and stuff. Right, actually it's changed now because of social media. Yeah, you too. can like host things at clubs. Yeah. So I mean, maybe there's hey, a whole market what's the one that, that I that follow I, that's one of those Cocky Boys? Uh, there's a lot of them. I forget his name. But I wish uh, him, the, uh, my ex-boyfriend, the, the best. And we were, uh, we, we had a really awful, awful, messy breakup, uh, made more so by myself because I had a nervous breakdown and oh, decided no. to like live the whole thing publicly. Um, and, uh, uh, again, the need for a validation through Instagram dictating a relationship, and uh, but then the, the after effects of a relationship. So uh, it was a horrible breakup, and we didn't speak for a long time. And uh, this summer, I actually saw him on Fire Island, where he was uh, for the summer, and uh, he got to meet my fiance, and it was very nice, and uh, it was good to like you know see somebody from your past uh, that you had a you know, at times incredible experience with and at times traumatic experience with and, uh, you know, kind of realized that, you know, the past is the past and perception. Well, I knew him things. too just because he worked on in TV. Like, yeah, yeah, he yeah. worked on The Talk, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He worked on The Talk and I'm like, oh, wait, now he's in reality TV? Fabulous. Oh, wait, now he's doing porn. Yeah, if I mean... That's that's that, quite the change. Fascin a fascinating Well, not narrative. even doing porn, though. Like, he was doing real yeah. naughty porn. Yeah, I haven't, I haven't watched it. He did, like... A full-on gangbang. Okay, yeah. <laughs> Bareback gangbang. Uh, Not that that matters anymore, because you know you can be on prep and sure, sure, and, sure. And, and I'm all for sexual. Yeah, uh, yeah no, I am too. Fluidity. Yeah, I am too. It's just it was. It, but anyways, um, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. It, was it was. It was. It's always when it's, somebody you know. It's fascinating. It does something very different than what you know them as. Is exactly. Very intriguing. Yes. 
quite the career change. Yes. If you could change careers and do something totally not entertainment related, what would you do? I guess gay porn, no. Um, <laughs> no. Okay, that's entertainment related. Uh, yeah. uh, what would I do? I mean, I guess I wouldn't know what to do. I would I, I, I would be a teacher. Really? Yeah, I would totally. Do. But you like no? kids. I love kids, yeah. Yeah, I don't think I'd like that. Um, and All I, right, any other career in entertainment, I'll start. I would love to be a music producer in the future. Ooh, I would get into that. I could get really into that. I mean, I would... Uh, I would like to, I mean, like if I weren't doing what I'm doing right now, I think I would just like move back to my hometown and like have a boring job and like just do community theater all You'd the time. You'd be happy back in Georgia? I, I mean, I don't know if I'd be happy, <laughs> but I think I would like, instead of, I think I would like find happiness if I like moved back to my hometown and just like did community theater with like people I grew up with. Oh, I actually talked about that recently. To did you do that growing up? Like to some no to my trainer or somebody. I would uh, just saying how you know everything has a positive and a negative. Totally, everything totally. and nobody has the perfect life. Yeah. And I have a lovely house and yeah. I have three kids. Yeah. But I don't have fuck you money in the bank. Right. So I still have to work. You gotta hustle. And that's a good thing. Yeah. I have to. The, I think the need to hustle and the need to work is a good thing. Especially when you have a very specific goal in mind. Totally. Mind is to get fuck you money in the bank. Sure. Because then it's like, wow, what will I do now? Yeah. And I actually said, I want to do like community theater or yeah. do whatever it just makes me happy. 100%. A little show at the Celebration 100%. Theater that yeah, nobody, yeah, actually yeah. some people can't see. Our friend Jimmy Fowley. Or oh my he's God, friend, he's Jimmy so Fowley did a show at the Celebration Theater that is now playing in New York City. Oh, Go check uh, that out. So Long Boulder City, I believe. Yes. It's, the, Based on the, the the show from La La Land, the, the La La Land it's, thing. I, have you seen it? I did not get it's to see it. Ugh. Brilliant! It's so funny, and he's so talented. And so you know what? Big, big Community theater can let lead to other things. Yeah, um, I think I would just move to like Hawaii and like like run like a. A juice bar and do community <laughs> theater it sounds really. Nice. Hawaii sounds a little better than than Georgia. Yeah, I guess. No, yeah, nothing wrong right. with Georgia. No, but Hawaii does have the ocean. Yeah, and, Hawaii and, is kind of magical. You know, less Trump supporters. <laughs> I don't know. They're they're everywhere. Right. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, what do you love to consume? Uh, like food wise? No, or, or that. Like anything. Like, no, uh, like you know, what do you spend the most time consuming? Like in terms of media oh, or oh, um, like books. I read a lot. YouTubers, I read quite a TV bit. TV shows. Um, what do you read? I'm books? Uh, at the books, yeah. At the moment I'm reading I read no books. You I don't, don't lie. Know? I don't, I don't have time. Yeah, I don't do anything. I don't watch TV. I don't read books. Every once in a while, I'll go see a movie. I go see usually a lot of kids movies. Oh right, yeah. <laughs> I mean that's fun though. I go see a lot of a lot of movies. Uh, I read a lot. The I, one thing I do for fun, I, I will go see musicals. Oh, do you? I love musicals. Me too. What's your favorite? And I go musical? to see concerts. My favorite musical of all time is Hedwig and the Angry Inch. Great, very. I good. saw it off Broadway with John Cameron Mitchell yeah. in the nineties at the Jane Street. At the, well, yeah. I even saw Jane it before. Hotel. It was at the Jane Street uh, Theater. Oh. Oh. I saw it at the West Beth Theater, yeah, yeah, where it yeah, was originally, yeah, yeah. before going to the totally. James Street, I saw him do it eight times. Oh, wow. And then on Broadway, I saw it six times. With I him? saw John do it twice. Yeah. I saw Neil do it three times. Ooh. And then I saw Darren Chris do it once. Oh, right. It's Darren my Chris favorite. It. I, I will be in a production of Hedwig at some point before it's I die. So good. Well, I still relate to that character. My yeah. favorite musicals are all the ones about outsiders or freaks. Right. Because I've always related to that. So Sideshow, one uh -huh. of my other favorite favorite musicals of all yeah. time, Man of La Mancha, another outsider or a freak. I don't really know Man of La Mancha, really. I am, uh, you know I the mean, I know the, I know like Impossible Dream, yes. and, like, all this stuff, but I don't know if I've ever seen like a production of it. Oh, you gotta um, see it, it's so good. Have you ever good. been in a musical? I've been in a couple. Oh wait, you did, uh, I did musical, musical in, New in New York City, City. and then I did Full House the Musical, a parody of Full House. Was that here? It, it was in New, in New York. York. Oh, that's wild. It what, was, what, what, I played Danny Tanner. Random. I was totally miscast. It was totally like stunt casting. And sure. I love it too. Tobley McSmith, who is so talented and has a wicked sense of humor, kind of got it and is like, I'll totally cast you just Random. for shits and giggles. And because I'm a name. Was it like original songs? It was or original was it like songs. Oh, yeah. fun. Yeah, that's the way. Yeah, that was the only way. The unauthorized musical parody of Full House. Right, 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 right. It was uh, so fun. I love doing theater. You know, I went to school for acting. Uh, yeah, I got my degree in drama from NYU, from uh, Tisch. Where did, you, where did you go to school? I went to North Carolina School of the Arts. but then North what? North Carolina North School Carolina of the Arts. North Carolina School of the Arts. But I dropped out after like six months. Oh my did God. Did you, gra and then you, you graduate? I graduated. Well, and then you moved to New York? I moved to New York when I was 18 and lived there for like six years and like dicked around. And then eventually that led to like 
uh, my YouTube videos with Cole, and then we had our just like sort of vaguely a TV show on uh, Logo. Logo called yeah. Jeffrey and Gold Casserole. Uh, and then, but that that aired online. It was online and on. It was actually on TV as well. But it, like we, I mean, it was very bizarre. Like we didn't have a budget and like, uh, like oh, literally logo. Weren't, weren't paid. Not you know, much has changed. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, it was fascinating, bizarre. But it was very, you know, a very cool thing to get to do when you were really young. And uh, and it was just like you know such a magical time for both myself and Cole. And uh, but then when that ended, uh, I moved here and uh, just because I was sort of sick of New York and like. I realized it was easier to be like broke and hustling here than it was in New York. It's true. That's why I was living in New York for three years. That's yeah. why I'm back. Yeah, that's a, we, <laughs> it's I cheaper. Were, were you, where in New York were you living? Well, I first moved to 58th and 6th. Okay. Amazing neighborhood. Yeah. And I was there for about two years, and then for the last year, I was on 18th and 8th. Oh, that's in Chelsea. Nice too. I like the 58th and 6th better, just because I could walk to all the and theaters. You, were your kids there too? My son was there, well, and then so my good. daughter was born. Okay. My first daughter. Okay. And now I have a second daughter. Uh, and then I just moved back because I knew that if I stayed in New York, it would have bled me dry. Yeah. It's just and so expensive. Three kids in New York City. That sounds crazy. You can't do it. Yeah. Where do you envision yourself in five years, Jeffrey Sell? I really like Los Angeles. So I feel like I will. Will Cole move here? Oh, You're he's... still friends with him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Um, actually, he's actually coming to stay with me on Sunday. And he, uh, but he's going to be here for a couple months. He's doing a, a writing gig here. Oh, um, so uh, that's be, cool. Yeah, he comes out here quite a bit. He's he came and lived with me here and did some did a gig for a few months at one point, and he comes here quite a bit. You have and a spare room. We have a spare room. So How that's, nice! It's, it's very nice. It's fun to get I to, love that. to do that. Uh, and uh, yeah, he, I could see him maybe moving here. He doesn't drive, and he's like at all doesn't seem to have any interest in learning. Well, you but can you can live here without driving. You can, I guess do that. You can lift everywhere. I know because we don't Uber. Do. No, we don't need don't Uber no, anymore. Don't Uber. <laughs> um, but you can lift everywhere. And I mean, I don't think I would be happy doing that because yeah, I actually not, like would driving. I. But uh, he, uh, I could see him maybe doing that. We'll see. Is your boyfriend working now? He uh, just did a movie for Netflix called oh. Ibiza that will be out this summer. That uh, is it stars uh, Richard Madden from uh, Game of Thrones. Yes, and, handsome. Uh, Gillian Jacobs and Phoebe Robinson Ooh. and Vanessa. Did Bayer. they film it in Ibiza? They filmed it in uh, not Ibiza. They filmed, but it pretended to be Ibiza. Where were they? Um, uh, oh. Where were they? Not they were filmed part of it in Croatia, it's somewhere, oh, wow. and then somewhere. That's where, the new hotspot uh, for the summer vacationing in Europe. I don't even remember where they filmed it. Uh, I didn't go, um, but uh, they were. He filmed that this summer, and then uh, yeah, so that comes out I think in next oh, summer. Exciting. And then five years from now, you see yourself. I think I could still be in LA, but as far as like what I'm doing, I would. You think you might move for well, real? Well, I mean, if I had to be in New York. Oh, I, yeah, sure. I, but if I also all of a sudden somehow in the next five years accumulated fuck you money, I think maybe I would live um, not in LA, maybe more so like Santa Barbara. Oh, I love Santa Barbara. Yeah, me too. Uh, well, because you're going to be married now, so yes. like, you don't need a life I don't outside really, of I don't really leave my house. I don't know about you. Me I, neither, I except I, to go see shows or yeah. go to the movies with my kids. Yeah, exactly. I don't, I don't, I don't like to leave the house. I don't like, I like people coming to my house, you know, I, but I, I want to stay in that bubble. So I, I dream like of Santa Barbara, Barbara would too. do that well. Yeah, like a big piece of property. Next to Oprah. Yes, all in that same area. Montecito. I that's, just that's eventually stop over for that Oprah Sunday brunch that she does. Oh, I was so mad I didn't get an invite. Oh, she's still doing she's it. She's still doing it. I, I know. know. I know some people have gone and said it was Incredible. You you do? Yeah, yeah, oh yeah. my god, yeah. Oprah! I was on my met, class with you, Oprah. I think I knew that. So that was amazing. Her. She was everything I wanted her to be. Did she like, like you? Yes. Did she? I think. Did she or she pretended? With you? No, no. Because no. you had never. I mean, I'm sure you've written about her, but like. But I love Oprah. You were never like negative or anything. I don't think so. Yeah. I worship Oprah. Yeah, I can see that. No, I'm an me atheist. Too. Me too. I grew so wait, up watching my, you her did show. Did my class with her was and with Deepak Chopra. Like, how wild is that? Oh, how interesting! I know. In at Radio City Music Hall. Wow. It's one of the coolest things I've ever done in my life. I have my Oprah Life Class journal. Ooh. Remember when they sent those out? Right when OWN started, they sent out Life Class journals for you to like follow along in the TV I love that. while yes. watching the show. And then she had the the master Life Class in different cities. That's right. The tour, the tour of it. Yeah. Yes. They're, but now they do, it's sort of like a Life Class thing with Super Soul Sunday, yes. right? Yes. Okay. Now it's just on TV. Yeah. She's not doing events anymore. Sure. Um, well, wow. Well. We've chatted for a half hour. We did it. We could probably keep chatting for another half hour, but... But oh, you have to make Thanksgiving food. I and, have to go home and do that. And people aren't going to be watching for a full hour. For a full for hour. 35 minutes. Like but hour. anyways, new book is out now. A very, very bad thing. Yes. The holidays are upon us. So yes. if you don't like reading or listening, 
buy it for somebody else. Yes, and if you know, if you have a, a gay, uh, queer, any sort of uh, uh, identifying teen in your family, I think this book is a, a good uh, gift. And I'm sure you can get it on Amazon. Anywhere right? books are sold. Anywhere yes. books are sold. Yes. Jeffrey yes. Self, everybody. Thanks for having me. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, share it. Hit yes. the like button. Leave us some comments. Follow Jeffrey if you're not yet yes. across social media. Yep. Just Jeffrey Self. At Jeffrey Self. At Jeffrey Self. Social media. And follow me too if you're not following me as well. Bye, everyone. Thanks so much.